Hi, everybody. My name's James. Welcome to California High Desert Preacher. Today's video is going to be discussing... As the 21st century began, the Roman papacy admitted to all kinds of crimes they had committed against humanity for the past 2,000 years of Christian history. They admitted their faults, such as the Crusades, anti-Semitism, the Inquisition, and witch hunts. The Pope also said that the Catholic Church would like to create a new unity among religions by looking back on all their religious errors. However, can all the errors of the Catholic Church be forgiven by just admitting to all the crimes they committed against humanity in the past? Just by admitting to their errors, the Catholic Church's crimes cannot be solved. They can never come to true repentance unless they realize their fundamental errors. When viewed from historical facts and the prophecies of the Bible, the Catholic Church is an organization of the Antichrist, which has destroyed all the truths of God, paganized Christianity by accepting all kinds of pagan gods, and made numerous souls worship Satan, not God. Not being content with their crime of killing cruelly whoever was against them for the past 2,000 years of Christian history, the Catholic Church is still committing a crime of driving countless souls to death. Therefore, admitting their crimes which have already been revealed through history without having fundamental repentance is only a crafty trick of the Catholic Church to pull the wool over people's eyes. For such men are false apostles, deceitful workmen, masquerading as apostles of Christ. And no wonder, for Satan himself masquerades as an angel of light. It is not surprising then if his servants masquerade as servants of righteousness. Their end will be what their actions deserve. In human history, the organization which has killed the most people is the Catholic Church. Nevertheless, the Pope is called an Apostle of Peace. It is an act to distort history. The reason the Catholic Church is more dangerous than any other organization is that they are doing all these things in the name of Christ. However, now the Catholic Church is revealing its detestable and hideous reality. Uh, in terms of uh, declining congregations, but more profoundly uh, to do with the paedophile uh, sex scandal that has rocked the church uh, for more than uh, 10 years. We've been looking into one particular case involving... Incredible. One of the, one, one former priest said that, you know, perhaps 50% of priests who enter the priesthood may be gay. I talked to a long... This is the living evidence which shows that Babylon the Great is falling apart, being judged by God's wrath as it has been prophesied in the Bible. Fallen. Fallen is Babylon the Great. She has become a home for demons and a haunt for every evil spirit, a haunt for every unclean and detestable bird. Give her as much torture and grief 
as the glory and luxury she gave herself. She will be consumed by fire. For mighty is the Lord God who judges her. God revealed the identity of Babylon through the way she looks outwardly, outward characteristics of Babylon. The woman was dressed in purple and scarlet and was glittering with gold, precious stones and pearls. She held a golden cup in her hand, filled with abominable things and the filth of her adulteries. This title was written on her forehead. Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of prostitutes and of the abominations of the earth. In the Bible, women refers to the church and among numerous churches in the world, the church that is dressed in purple is the Catholic Church. The color of the traditional priest robe of the Catholic Church is purple and scarlet. We can also confirm that the church that decorates its interior and worship utensils with gold, precious stones and pearls is the Catholic Church. And in addition, it is only the Catholic Church that give mass holding the golden cup true to the words, she held a golden cup in her hand. As we have seen, no church but the Catholic Church satisfies all the points that the Bible tells us. The Bible recognizes this organization as Babylon the Great. The Catholic Church Babylon the Great looks as if it worships God, but when we closely look into it, we can find out they do abominable things to worship the sun god. The Roman Catholic Church disguises itself as an angel of light, but it craftily introduced the customs of detestable idolatry and the sun worship of ancient Babylon. So the Bible recognizes it is Babylon the Great. Then does the Bible call only the Roman Catholic Church Babylon? which keep the Sunday service and Christmas originated from the sun worship as Babylon II. This title was written on her forehead. Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of prostitutes and of the abominations of the earth. In the Bible, women refers to church. So, a prostitute means a false church that practices lawlessness that come from the Catholic Church are small Babylons. The Catholic Church, which leads the whole world astray as the mother of prostitutes, is proud of itself. The Bible also recorded about the abominable behavior of the prostitute who leads the whole world astray. The kings of the earth committed adultery with her and the merchants of the earth grew rich from her excessive luxuries. Babylon the Great and small Babylons, which changed God's set times and laws, oppressed God's saints. The Bible prophesizes that God's rage will judge them in the end. After this, I saw another angel coming down from heaven. He had great authority, and the earth was illuminated by his splendor. With a mighty voice he shouted, Fallen, fallen is Babylon the Great. If you guys live in the Victor Valley area and would like to join me in evangelizing the high desert, feel free to click on the link down in the description part of the video where you'll find my email address. Also, guys, let's not forget the Great Commission given in Scripture, Matthew 28, 19 to 20. 
Mark 16, 15, 1 Peter 3, 15. God has called every believer to be a witness to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. Join me and let's take back the high desert from the pro-abortion, pro-atheist, and pro-evolution communities. Also, guys, I need prayer warriors. Please keep me in this ministry in prayer. Thank you and God bless.